we've been hearing about the Lightyear One for a while, and it's great to actually see it in person here at CES 2020. John, tell us about this futuristic car. Yeah, so this is a Lightyear One, and it's actually built around energy efficiency. So we're able to squeeze as, as many miles out of the energy we've got. So the whole top section is solar panels. It's about five square meters of solar panels. All the energy that we uh, yield from the light and the sun, we saw that in the battery. The battery is 60 kilowatt hours, and on a full battery, you'll be able to drive 450 miles. And, and how much of a charge can you get from those solar panels, typically? So the, the solar panels are about, uh, say, uh, five to eight miles an hour when it's parked outside in, in, in daylight. So uh, on a full day, there'll be a count of that up to about 50 miles uh, per day that you can get out of the, the sun. So in an area like this, in Nevada, Las Vegas, you'll be able to drive about 10 to 11,000 miles per year just on the sun alone. And so for a commuter car, many people could actually not even have to plug in a quad. Yeah, definitely. In an area like this, probably you'd have 200 plus days of carefree solar range uh, during the summer. And of course, when in the winter the days get shorter and, and the light's just a little bit less bright, you'd have to charge. But because we can squeeze more miles out of the same amount of energy, you can also charge much faster than uh, you could any other electric vehicle does. And so what are some of the other features of this vehicle? So the feature, we're building it around energy efficiency. So it's very lightweight. It's extremely aerodynamic. We're working with in-wheel motors, so every wheel has its own motor in the wheel. So it's four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive. And that combined makes that we can uh, build it around efficiency so specifically. Uh, what is the rest of the car, so you can see the design is very aerodynamic. We have cameras instead of side mirrors. Okay. Or also for aerodynamic purposes. So there's no rear window in the car. Uh, we use a camera for that as well. And then you have the wheel covers to make sure that we can achieve maximum aerodynamics. That combined is a Lightyear One, the most efficient production car. It's also obviously all wheel drive because each wheel has its own motor, right? Yep, exactly. So you could, we actually build it around the idea of adventure and taking it out for a spin. You could actually drive to the end of the world and then stop there for a couple of days and you'd have, you've charged enough energy to drive back without worrying. And that feeling that you don't have to worry, you don't have range anxiety, you don't have to worry about plugging it in or whatever, that, that for us, that's the freedom that we want to give back to the drivers. And so from an amenity standpoint, it looks like it seats five people. I assume is there some space in the front too? Do you have a front there? Or? No, so the, actually what we do in the front is we try to squeeze all the electronics and the sensors and everything that's normally inside the car to the front. Okay. So the front is no, you won't have any space in the front, but you have a lot of space in the back. From in entertainment side, I guess you have a full uh, featured infotainment type stuff? Yeah, definitely. So uh, on the software side of things, we're developing that in-house ourselves as well. And what we're actually trying to achieve is that it, it's, it's uh, uh, stressless and it's not shouting and, and super large as you would imagine as, as a Tesla has or as other uh, car manufacturers are putting out right now. We're trying to keep it as minimalistic and, and uh, quiet as possible so you can just focus on driving and getting the full experience out of that. Effectively, it's a drive-by-wire, right? So from a uh, software perspective, that's pretty complicated to get those wheels spinning at the right time at the right moment, right? Definitely, that's most of our time it gets stuck in, in optimizing that and making sure that the solar panels, the battery, the in-wheel motors, that everything uh, is connected and works seamlessly together so you can have the best driving experience of driving a Lightyear One. And so from a perspective of bringing it to the United States, it seems like there's certain minimum things like rear view mirrors and stuff that will you be able to get it approved the way it is now? Well, the way it is now, we're specifically uh, building it to be approved in Europe. Um, of course, we have conversations going on here as well. And once we take that leap, we will have to adjust uh, minor things to the car to make sure that we can get it approved in, uh, in the US as well. Well, we'll probably go with it state by state and not try to get full approval for the entire country right away. That makes sense. And uh, you're taking, you've taken pre-orders, right? Yes, we're definitely taking pre-orders. So the car's uh, on sale is about 130,000 US dollars. Uh, for a pre-order and then uh, you will be one of the uh, lucky ones to receive the exclusive pre-edition uh, which will be coming out next year already uh, and then from there we will start rolling and see what we can do it's 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 a very much a, a volume price kind of game that we're trying to uh, play out and you're going with the premium first and then you anticipate uh, lower cost uh, higher volume units yes definitely and uh, 
as Tesla did, they, of course, they, they wanted to do that with a Model S and a Model X as well, but they realized that the cost was still quite high. So we're trying to, to learn from what they've done and then make sure that we can jump up to a Model 3 edition for a, a much broader market straight away. Is it kind of a skateboard design so you can basically put a different body on uh, the basic skateboard? Yeah, definitely. So building a solar car, you actually have to start from scratch. You have to start from the bottom up. And, and so we built the platform of this uh, of the light here ourselves in house. We designed it ourselves. It's specifically built for uh, a solar car, and, and uh, so we could use that in further models as well. And we could actually uh, 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 evolve that platform to make it better. Do you see uh, maybe shared vehicles as well in the future? Yes, absolutely. So a solar car is perfect for a shared vehicle because once it stops and it's outside, it's charging. So you don't have to. You're not asking that of your customers to charge it all the time. It can just it can go much longer, and only the efficiency that we can achieve in a light year one is going to give you enough range to, to actually do that. Now, are you guys going to set up your own factory? Or are you partnering with others for that? We're still we're still figuring out what the best way is for us to do that. So in Europe, we uh, might be setting up our own assembly line. Uh, so we won't be building them from scratch, but we get in the parts and we assemble them and then they will roll out of our own factory. Uh, and for the US, we're still looking what what's the best way to do that. Even for Europe, if when we attack the higher volumes, we're still trying to find out the, the correct partners to do that. Well, it's uh, you've been on a long road already and it looks like you're uh, on a path to uh, sustainability. So, John, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thanks.